we're back to the channel. We're going to take a look at the Marvel Comics Superhero Strategy Game. This is from 1980. So it's pretty old. So 8 to 7 to 12. There's no dice in this game. It's more of a just a movement game, a capture game. So all the instructions are on the back cover here. What I will do, I'll leave a timestamp here. So you can just skip that timestamp if you just want to read the instructions for yourself. I'll just have them laid out. And you can just read it. So there will be no talking over it you can just read it for yourself and I'll, I'll leave it there so you can pause it and have the instructions of your own let's check it out all right milton bradley marvel comics superhero strategy game superheroes versus super villains and an exciting battle of wits Got some very cool art on here a lot of classic stuff that i definitely grew up on this is my favorite art in comic book history probably some more art in here Meet the heroes. We have Spider-Man, Captain America, Mr. Fantastic, the Mighty Thor, Iron Man, Silver Surfer. Beware of the supervillains, Dr. Doom, Galactus, Doc, Doc Ock, Red Skull, Loki, and Mandarin. All right. So we kind of have one and one, right? Yeah. Each one has their own villain. That's pretty cool. Just realized that. You have Spider for Doc. You have Mr. Fantastic. <clears throat> For uh, Doctor Doom, Iron Man, Mandarin, Thor, Loki, Cap, Skull, Surfer, Galactus. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Should be standees somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Here's our standees of bad guys, good guys. So the art's the same as you see here. Stand fell off. We lost the stand. This guy, Loki. Okay. That got our standees. It's cool, Doctor Doom. It's a single fold out. Here's the grid. So it looks like you're probably in New York, being Marvel. No, I guess this would be Washington, D.C., right? There's the monument, I'm guessing. This Marvel did take place in real cities versus, you know, D.C., the made-up cities. So the instructions, like I said, I thought, well, yeah, they are on the back of here. So it was kind of a thing at the time. For these games. All right, let's go over the instructions together. Down a bit. Let's see. So it's a little faded, so it's a little hard to see. I'll try to focus it a little bit better. Don't know how good it's going to get. That might be as good as it gets. <laughs> All right, so you're going to plot, plan, and place your pawn strategically. That's the key to winning the exciting chess-like game of dueling superheroes and supervillains. You and your opponent maneuver the marvelous Marvel Comics characters into strategic positions on the game board city so you can trap and capture each other's pawns. One player moves the superheroes. With the red pawns bases, the editor player moves the six supervillains with the black pawn bases. Okay, prepare for battle. Advance from dot to dot on the game board. Corner and capture your opponent's men. Two of your pawns can even become powerful super pawns. So you break through enemy ranks to the opposite side of the game board. To be a winner, you must capture five of your opponent's in okay <clears throat> this is really faded so at least like where you oh, if i hold it up maybe you can see it better i guess so let's have to hold it up a little bit better be the first player to capture five of your opponent's men win the game 12 pawns 16 bases one game board we have all that uh, punch out the heroes we've done that punch out the villains we've done that place the game board and table <laughs> between two players <laughs> very specific Player chooses pawns and players move the villains, and heroes. Uh, the superheroes will set 
up at six pawns in the back row at the bottom of the game board. Okay, so they're going to be all the way at the back. Superheroes set at the back here, at the bottom of the game board. Spider Man, Captain America, Iron Man. You guys are in red. All right. Mr. Fantastic, Thor. And Silver Surfer. Okay. So I'm guessing the other guys are going to go at the top of the game board. Get that in a second. Okay, done that. Back row, super villain stood up six pawns. The back row at the top of the game board. Notice there are nine dots in the back row. Place your six on any of the nine dots in the back row. Your opponent does likewise. So, <clears throat> so you can choose, you can spread these out. You don't have to be in a row. Choose on any of the nine dots. All right, how to play the game. Moves are made from one dot to another along the red and black connecting lines the players alternating moves the superhero play player moves first then the supervillain player moves how to move player makes either a single or a double move a single move advances warrior pawns to one dot in any direction along the black or red line okay so let's take silver surfer <coughs> we have a red line a black line um i'm gonna go on the red line one okay A double move. Move one of your pawns two dots. To do this, you must travel along two lines that match your color of your pawn base. Thus, if you're moving superheroes' pawns with a red pawn base, you may advance two dots by moving your pawn along the red lines to, to one dot and along another red line to the second dot. A supervillain pawn may make a double move along two connecting black lines. Okay, so, so red, so you could go red, red. So you can double jump these two dots as they connect with the red lines. We'll leave them here for now. Okay, we are up here. Important. A double move is made only on two consecutive lines of the same color. Please note, if a player can make a double move, he or she may opt to move only one dot rather than two dots. This is acceptable. <laughs> See diagrams A and B below. For example, single and double moves as pictured from the center area on the game board. Okay, there's our diagram. One dots or two dots. Uh, can you go diagonal? I think you, or not diagonal, but I think you can go dot to dot. That makes sense, right? Okay. You cannot move a pawn to a dot occupied by one of your own pawns, so you can't share spaces with your other heroes. You may not double back, which means you may not move out and return to the dot you occupied <coughs> when you started your turn. Okay, so for some reason <coughs> you can't retreat on your turn. You have to wait till your next turn to move back. Okay, where were we? You may not jump over one of your own pawns or an opponent's pawns during a double move. Okay, so you can't pass your your other heroes as well. <coughs> Capturing. On a single or double move, if you land on one of your opponent's pawns, you may capture it and remove it from the game. Your turn is over now, even if you can move further. Okay, so say Mandarin's here, and then on your turn, Surfer, for some reason he ended here accidentally, I don't know why, but grabs him, move from game. Okay, play continues as above with both players moving from dot to dot trying to corner and capture each other's pawns. The aha rule, this is applicable only when you move your pawn into a position 
on a position that on your next move you would land right on one of your enemy's pawns. This is called being in the capture position. When you move into a capturing position, you must warn your opponent of an imminent capture by saying aloud, aha, and pointing your finger as your opponent's threatened pawn or pawns. This is similar to check rule in chess. When you announce haha, your opponent must do one of the following. Capture your threatening pawn with another for any one of his or her pawns, or move the threatened pawn to another dot. A new position cannot be one of the following. Uh, can be one of the following. A dot where your opponent cannot be captured. A dot where your opponent cannot be captured by you. It's like a misprint. But at the same time, it is a position that becomes threatening to you. This means your opponent now has moved into a position and must announce aha back at you. Huh. I'm not sure how that works with double movements. I guess you announce it before the double movement. So if like he is cornered here, we'll say we'll do Doc Ock. So Doc Ock is cornered here, we'll use Spider-Man. He moves here. I'm guessing this is an aha situation. Because what well, would be here? Because it'd be red and red, right? So I'm here. I can double move into Doc Ock. So this would be an aha situation. Point. You say aha. I'm going to capture Doc Ock if you don't get him out of the way. So <clears throat> sure the strategy is so maybe play Surfer here and hopefully have another person here and so on and so on. And you trap Doc Ock. You know, remove from the game. So we'll put Loki here. Okay, where were we? Open the threatening areas here. A dot where your opponent can still be captured. This is a call to dangerous position. If your opponent moves to a dangerous position, you're free to capture your opponent threatened pawn on your next turn. And you do not... You're free to capture your opponent threatened pawn on your next turn. And you do not need to announce aha. Really move on to the threatened pawns dot and remove it from the capture. And remove the now captured pawn from the game board. One reason why your opponent might move into a dangerous situation is when a threat is a threat of a trade-off would result, for example. By capturing your opponent's threatened pawn, you would place yourself in danger of being recaptured by one of your opponent's other pawns. Yeah, like chess and checkers. You might then decide not to capture it at all. Important. You only announce aha when you move your pawn into capturing a position. If you move your pawn into a dangerous position, a dot where you can be captured, your opponent does not have to warn you with the aha, but instead captures your pawn immediately <laughs> if he or she chooses to do so. Okay, so if you moved into the aha moment here and for some reason Mandarin was chilling back here, and you moved yourself into the danger, he doesn't have to say, aha, you just screwed up, and he can take you out. Okay, so where was that? Okay. <clears throat> For strategic reasons, player not so I may not want to capture instead. If you announce aha and your capturing position threatens to move two or more of your opponent's pawns, your opponent is only obligated to move one of their pawns or to capture your threatening pawn. Okay. So you can't capture more than one on one move. If you move your pawn into capturing position and forget and forget to announce aha, then you cannot capture the threatened pawn on your next move. The super move. All right, the super move. One of your pawns reaches the back row of your opponent's side of the game board. It becomes a super pawn. It's just distinguish the super pawn from your other pawns. Crown it with a spare pawn base. Insert the plastic base on top of the super pawn. You may make a super move. Wait, so I guess you just. That's kind of silly. Um. I feel like I might be missing a, an extra base. So, kind of like King Me and Checkers. Spider-Man makes it all the way to the end here. He becomes a Super Pawn. You take the Super Pawn thing here. You put it on top. They're all squared off at the top as well. Put it on. 
He is now a super pawn. All right, what do super pawns do? Let's see. We are at super pawns, super move. Okay. Distinguish, we've done that. Spare base. You may make a super move with your super pawn by moving as many dots as you want, as long as you can travel along the consecutive lines that match your color of the pawn, of your pawn's base. For example, you may move a superhero, <coughs> superheroes super pawn as far as you wish along consecutive red lines. Or you may move a super villain super pawn as far as you wish along the black lines. Okay, so on his movement, say he is here, he can just just move all the way. So it speeds up the game. So the game will end. So your super pawns will start trapping people. You'd have to say aha here for Mandarin. So they can move along their color bases lines as far as you want on their movement, as long as they're in a row. Okay. If you don't wish to make a super move with your super pawn, you may make a normal single dot or double move. Okay, if your super pawn cannot super pawn cannot jump over any of your own pawns or opponent's pawns during super move. When moving your super pawn into a capturing position, you must also announce aha and point your finger at your opponent's threatened pawn. Be careful, this capturing position could Im exist immediately after your crown, your super pawn. If so, you must say aha immediately to warn your opponent of your threatening super pawn. Each player may have only two super pawns. Okay, so you're limited to two super pawns per the game. How to win? Be the first player to capture five of your opponent's men, and you win the game. Okay. So I played this once, and it was it was okay. It wasn't bad. You know, you try, try to get to the end of the board. You just play as Doctor Doom, so you can win. And then, uh, <laughs> but there's no dice. There's no special moves. Um, it's just kind of a pasted on superhero theme. But the board is pretty cool. I like the way it looks. The colors are nice. I definitely like the art of the characters. Well, it's still, you know, a basic kind of strategy game. But I like the idea. Get your super pawn. You can just start flying around the red. Or if you get, you know, your super villain, you can fly around the black lines and capture whoever. But like I said, you still have to say aha. So if you stop here. You have to say aha. If you don't move, capture Spider Man. Move all your opponents pawns on the game and you win that is the marvel comic superhero strategy game and i now will just show the rules so in case you have this game and lost the box top or for whatever reason you can look at this video and have the rules handy so let me do that now i'll try to pause on each section for a little while of course you can also always pause the video so we'll try to start by each section here.
That is a Marvel Comics superheroes strategy game. Superheroes versus supervillains and exciting battle of wits. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.